Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Car X Drift Racing 2 with Brogue Hammer Auto House. We have a real short, uh, quick video today just to give you uh, some updates on the most recent update that they just released for this game. Um, they released some new cars. This is one of them, the Interstate. Um, it's kind of like a Trans Am, old Trans Am. So um, that'll be fun to play with, and we'll see how that is. They are all vehicles you have to get in an event, unfortunately. This one's a level three car. There's also a level four car called the Hummel, and that's an older 911, which will also be a lot of fun to modify. It's much different than what uh, is typically there. So I really like to see that they're, you know, changing it up, adding some more unique vehicles, um, this Porsche. And then uh, the Grace GT is actually the uh, GR Yaris that is not released necessarily in the United States, but I know it's overseas already. Um, there's some big names over there that have been playing with these things already. So it'll be interesting to play with that as well. There's also a couple new body kits. There's a new body kit for the Atlas GT, um, which I'm going to show you here. It's the D master kit. Um, not terribly different than some of the other kits they already had, but certainly kind of a cool thing to add. They also added another body kit for the, um, Wanderer L30, AKA the uh, Mark IV Supra. So I'll show you that body kit as well. It's also a D master kit. And then, um, I think it looks pretty good. They already had quite a few body kits for this car. Um, this one's even wider, so maybe that's why they released it. But nonetheless, cool that they're adding more things and um, I'm really interested to see how that goes. Um, they also added some new features as well. So there's um, a new campaign, um, there's new single player races, and there's new tandems. So um, when it comes to the tandem drifting, or sorry, the campaign, they actually added time attack, which is really interesting. So we're going to have to try to build a time attack car now. Um, maybe I'll make a short little video on kind of how to set that up uh, in order to get through that uh, campaign that they launched. So that'll be interesting. They already have that on the console version, but they never had time attack here on mobile. So we'll see how that uh, plays out. But let me know what you guys think of the time attack down below. Um, they also have some new configurations for the um, single player as well as the uh, tandems, the XDS tandems. And um, when you look at the tandems here, I'll jump into the XDS. Uh, they have a new one at the airfield. Um, this one, I don't remember exactly what configurations were there, but it looks like it has a little more space than some of the other ones they've had for the airfield before. Um, the other one's at uh, Milton Drive. And I believe it's the first tandem track that they've actually made for Milton Drive because I don't think there's any other ones that were there before. Correct me if I'm wrong again on that. But So anyways, uh, the final thing is the... Oh wait, that was the final thing. They had listed something about Winterfell, so I was looking for maybe on Castle Road or something, but I didn't see it anywhere else. But anyways, just wanted to hop on, let you guys know what I think of the new update, and uh, there will be more gaming videos coming soon. As always, I appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Thank you.